Also tonight, a surprise from Columbia Gas. The utility says it has to go from home to home now to inspect abandoned gas lines in the Merrimack Valley. Now, the company says the compliance checks are out of a, quote, abundance of caution, but it's not the news that people in Lawrence, Andover, and North Andover want to hear almost a year to the day of the explosions. WBZ's Christina Rex is live for us in Lawrence tonight with this new twist. Christina? Yeah, David, Lawrence's mayor says he wants Columbia Gas fined for this. He says they knew about this issue with abandoned pipelines more than a month ago, and he says they should have told the public sooner. If they missed this, what else did they miss? Lawrence Mayor Dan Rivera is baffled by the news that Columbia Gas will be back in his city again inspecting gas lines. The company announced Thursday it has to reinspect the old abandoned pipelines at 700 homes and businesses in the Merrimack Valley because there's a chance they aren't compliant with state law. Winter is coming and now we're going to be in people's homes. This is, is, is ludicrous. The old lines were abandoned after overpressurization in them caused the explosions all over Andover, North Andover, and Lawrence, prompting Columbia Gas to install 48 miles of new lines. The company says it's sorry for the inconvenience, but insists customers shouldn't be worried about safety. Everybody is absolutely safe that the, this, uh, this work that's going to happen on the 700 lines are on the abandoned lines. This is in no way impacts the gas service to their house or is in any way a safety issue. Even if they decided it wasn't a matter of public safety, that was not their decision to make. It's our decision to make. Mayor Rivera says he was told Wednesday about the new inspections, but says Columbia Gas knew about the issue at the end of July. You know something, you got to communicate that. You know, you got to be uh, transparent about it. And they're failing that in, in spades. And Columbia Gas will call customers individually to set up appointments for those inspections. Here in Lawrence, that's about 411 customers. Live in Lawrence, Christina Rex, WBZ News.